Okay, so my kids just hopped the fence and then ran onto the track. They didn't let me know what they were doing. They just hopped the fence and ran that way. So I, I should probably go find them. You got the finish line double loop? Easy. You're gonna have to do it like second lap though. Yeah. Yeah, you can't be rolling that thing all day. You gotta hit it second lap. Guys, one guess. I will give you one guess where we're at right now. There's a hint right there. That's your hint. <laughs> the stadium seating. Yeah, we are in Daytona. Daytona Speedway for Supercross 2022. I'm gonna call this Mason's first real kind of Supercross. He's been to one before. He went to Seattle 2017, but it was kind of lame. It was kind of a mutter. It was kind of like raining the whole time. So it wasn't super exciting. So we're gonna call this your first one. Well, your second uh, first one. No? My opinion, this is kind of my second one, but this is my first actually good one. Okay guys, I just snuck into the pits. We're not supposed to be in the pits, Mason. We're not allowed to go in the pits. We went around security. I, here's, guys, here's your lesson for today. If you do anything with confidence, you can usually get away with it. I just walked in, I showed him the uh, bracelet, which is for Luke's race tomorrow, which I'll talk about later. Luke's gonna race, he's gonna try to race tomorrow. But I just held it up, went like this, gave him a, a wave, kept walking, kept looking, and and he let us go, and now we're in the pits. You guys don't mind me, keep doing what you're doing, all right? I was trying to get Carlos to rev the bike for us, but he wouldn't do it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I saw Lillian's two favorite riders' bikes. Uh, Lillian's two favorite riders' bikes. Oh, uh, and Ken Roxanne. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't think we're supposed to be over here. Okay, so we were we snuck into the pits. I asked somebody where the uh, the seats are. They pointed this way, and we ended up in uh, industry seating. So. We're supposed to be over there. All right, well this would have been pretty rad, guys. That's where the start is right here. The rider's gonna come right through here. And we could totally be sitting here getting shots of the riders going onto the track. That would have been pretty sick, but unfortunately, Luke and Lillian are all the way on the other side of the stadium in their normal seats. I feel kind of bad. I, I feel like I should go over there with them, so what we're gonna do. This is actually a pretty cool facility. I like the setup here for Supercross actually guys. We came here a little bit early. We got to watch practice and it was pretty cool because you could actually see the whole track from almost anywhere. And you can get dang close too. If you get like the track side tickets, you can walk down to the fence. And I'm sure it'll get crowded, but it's pretty cool. You can actually get pretty darn close to these guys. Mason's favorite part, he loves that part. <laughs> One, two, three. I think the fastest rhythm is going to be to step up right there. No way. Triple quad. Yeah, they triple off that one. Triple off that one? They triple that one. And then quad. 
Maybe that would be faster. I was thinking step up that, triple over that big one, triple right there, and then jump over the on-off. But I guess if you could go triple quad, that would be faster, actually. tied in point so hopefully we get an epic battle between the two of them that'd be sick Mason, you nailed it. You were right. How'd you know? Chat one. Uh, Lucky guess? 
I can predict the future. You you can predict the future? Okay, let's see if Luke can predict the future. Luke, who do you got for the 450? Anderson. Okay, Anderson, I'll go uh, Malcolm. I'll go Malcolm. Do you want to go, uh, do you want to go Eli? I'm not going anyone this time. Oh well, yeah? We're just going to take a break from predicting the future. <laughs> two seconds ago, you can predict the future, Mason. <gasps> Mason, two seconds ago, you can predict the future. Now you don't want to predict anything? I just do it. Just go Eli. You know what? You could get it 100% right tonight. Just do it. said Eli, I'm going Okay, for 450, I'm going to go get a shot of the rollers. You guys want to stay here or go with me? Uh, I'm going to stay here. Okay, you stay here. Mason, stay here, okay? down together first lap. I guess Mason can't predict the future. All right, Tomax in third. He's going to win. Mason was right. On Cooper, do you think he's gonna get him? Yeah. Yeah? Right on, what's your name? Tucker. Good to meet you, bro. Are you making a YouTube video? Yeah. What's your name? Jax. Jax, good to meet you. What's your name, man? Joel. Good to meet you. What's your name, bro? Good. You guys having fun? They didn't let me know what they were doing. They just hopped the fence and ran that way. So, 
I, I should probably go find him. Uh. Okay, good news guys. I found the kids. Did you have a good adventure there for a while? Yeah. After that, I got a little bit worried that no one was there. So I kicked over some more tough blocks. You're just, and you found me. You went on you went on a rampage attacking tough blocks? Yeah. I uh. think I was at least like 15. Well, luckily there was only like 60,000 people on the track, so eventually I was able to find you too. Mason, huh. you're on a hot streak of predicting the future. You are killing it, so we gotta ask you this question. Will Luke win his race tomorrow? No. <laughs> no? All right, you heard it here first. Let's see if he's right. All right, guys, good morning. It is about eight in the morning right now. The boys and I slept in the back of the truck here at the parking lot in the uh, infield at Daytona, and it is a uh, race day for Luke. So I'll, uh, I'll get into that in a second. But you guys, that was awesome. Last night was so much fun. Such a cool facility. Like you could see everything. You could see the whole track pretty much. I mean, you could pretty much see the whole track. It was exciting racing. I mean, nothing sucked about last night except for the DJ. And okay, so like if you go track side, you're, uh, you're on the, the road course, which is slanted, which is great because it's like stadium seating until the drunk guy spills his beer 15 feet behind you. And then it's just, it's just a stream of beer going in, into everybody in its path. That sucked. I don't know why they let people take beer down there. Like it's it's tricky. It's on a slant. Anyway, so I do want to give a thank you to our friends Scarlett and Waylon. So um, they actually gifted us these tickets uh, yesterday. They reached out to us. They said we have tickets and we're not able to make it. Would you like them? And I was like, yeah, I think we can help you out with that. So, so uh, courtesy of them, we were able to attend the Supercross last night. So thank you very much, guys. We had a blast. It was a lot of fun. You guys are awesome. And Mason called it. Jet one, Tomac one. My question for you guys is, okay, let's hypothetical. What do you guys think? If uh, Cooper did not get held up by a lapper, would Tomac still have won? Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. I got to go get the bike ready. I got to get uh, Luke dialed in for, for his practice. I just uh, tightened the spokes, tightened the chain, but uh, all the other 85s look like factory bikes here. So I'm going to get try to get it cleaned up a little bit more so that it's good to go for Luke. And then, uh, you know what, next video, uh, uh, we'll end this now and then next video we'll talk about my expectations how i think luke will do doing his first ever race at daytona supercross